Well, hey, and welcome to another episode of Beetle Dustino coming at you again today with yet another video, yet another what's in the box video. I said we're going to do a little singles collections coming up here. Uh, we just did the Ringo Star Record Store Day Ringo box a single set with the three different singles. And before that, even I kind of forgot to mention that we had done the EP, the CD EP, the Beatles CD EP set, and the Beatles CD singles box set that came out kind of in the early 90s. There, I kind of was hoping to have a little trend going with those. So it seems like there's a lot of little Beatles related single sets, uh, box sets out there. And today, we're going to do yet another one. <laughs> And this one's kind of an oddball in the sense. But before we do get going with that, I do want to thank all my subscribers. Thanks to the new subscribers. Yet again, there's been uh, quite a few lately. So thank you, thank you, thank you to all those new subscribers. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do and do hit the notification bell so you do know when I got new videos coming out. And do give the video a like. It really does help out the channel. And please leave a comment. I love having a discussion with everybody. But let's get on with this next What's in the Box. I saw you with the box. What was in the box? Because I envy your normal life. Put the gun down, David. It seems that envy is my sin. Oh, uh, what's in the box? Not taking care of me. Man, Brad Pitt and that box. I don't know, man. He he really needs to figure that out. Maybe not, though. I don't know. Ugh, I think I've seen that movie. I don't. I don't know. No, he doesn't want to see. He doesn't want to see what's in that box. <laughs> but you all want to see what's in this box <laughs> so of course this is the beatles singles i think it's just called the beatles it's another record store day exclusive well at least first exclusive and it features a few singles it's similar to that ringo box and it's an interesting one it really is i i still this one i could not find a lot on but um here is the front of course it's this red with the yellow and there's a key to that i think I'm not sure on it though. There's the spine on the top, the one side and the bottom. And then here is the back. And um, these are numbered. So there's my number there. What is it? 28391. <laughs> and I just recently got this actually. This did come out this did come out for Black Friday Record Store Day of 2011, so that would have been November 25th of 2011. And it was, I believe, a Record Store Day first, so I guess I did kind of say it's going to be released elsewhere. I couldn't find any information of it on the Record Store Day website. I was kind of surprised if I was going back through the archives and I couldn't find it in there. I've known about this set for a while, and I've known it is a Record Store Day one. I couldn't find much on that. Discogs have it listed two different listings i don't know if one was a uk and one was a us and the uk one said it was the black friday record store day and the us one said it was record store day for 2012 <laughs> so i'm a little confused on that now i got mine recently because another place that claims it as an exclusive is barnes and nobles and i have been noticing on their website and been meaning to pick it up and i finally broke down eh, i've had it for a little while now but not not super long and i broke down and got it through barnes and noble so i'll talk about that kind of towards the end on on other things there too they claim it as an exclusive so i'm a little confused on that too <laughs> So I don't know if when it did get the wider release of Barnes & Noble was who was the main wider release after the Record Store Day release. And I, I don't know if they got it right away in 2012, I guess, as you know, it was towards the end of the year in 2011 when the Record Store Day first came out. Now, it did come with a backing sheet and this is it. So it kind of shows you what's in there. And I said the yellow and red was kind of key. I noticed that they got down at the bottom here, the Beatles 1. Now Beatles 1 did get reissued in 2011. And I'm wondering if this wasn't a little bit of a promo on that reissue. Of course, they reissued it with the new 2009 stereo remasters. But I think there are still some mono mixes on there too. They reissued it in the new packaging to kind of go with the 2009 remasters also for the main Beatles catalog it came out of course in the big box set and singly and all that with a little banner down the side as a matter of fact so I was just talking about it so there's the 2009 Beatles one with that little banner like I said kind of matching the new digi sleeve release of the rest of the Beatles catalog 
yeah, I kind of believe this with this red and yellow is supposed to tie in as a little bit of a promotion to Beatles 1 getting the reissue there. And of course, I was just see the reissue at the time. I don't believe they did the LP yet. But anyways, let's take a look at what is in the box. We showed you the front, back, the backing sleeve here, which also shows you what's in the box. But let's take a look here. And this box and that Ringo box really remind me a lot of each other except for the Ringo box has the liftoff lid. This has got this fold out. And I really like this, this picture here of them on the fold out here. And it kind of is what seals the box up. If you can see, it's kind of lifted up there and then it kind of fits in here. So it kind of seals the box in there. This one does have a ribbon. I said the Ringo one does not, at least the one that I got, but I've seen pictures of it with it. But this does have the ribbon and we got one extra single with this and then Kind of like the Ringo box, we got a little bonus on the inside there. So we'll get to that a little later. So we'll start out with the singles you get with it. So the first one is Yes It Is and Ticket to Ride. And these are done up kind of on the capital picture sleeves. And the inside too on the labels are done up the capital way. The big hole again, hi. <laughs> and so there's Ticket to Ride and there is Yes It Is. Hi. I'm kind of doing a a wink at you, I guess. I don't know. I suppose you can only see my one eye, though. So you probably didn't even know I was winking. <laughs> but yeah, there it is on that capital, the orange and yellow swirl label. Of course, Beatles 1 kind of is representing the 27 number one singles. These are part of that 27 number one singles. But here is Yellow Submarine and Eleanor Rigby. The front and the back. And the, the front and the backs on these are going to be pretty much the same on all of them. And we're still on the capital yellow and orange swirl in the big hole. Hi. <laughs> and so, yeah, yellow submarine and then Eleanor Rigby. Let's do it again. Yellow submarine, Eleanor Rigby. <laughs> and then we go from the capital ones. And I suppose this would be probably pretty true to how it was once they moved to Apple. The next ones we go to is Hey Jude and Revolution. And there is the sleeve there. Pull that out. Show you out of the sleeve. Not really much different here, seeing as you had the big hole not only there, but <laughs> in the sleeve too. All right. Hi. Even better frame there. But yeah, there is Hey Jude and Revolution. And yeah, my Revolution, I, I noticed this on this, uh, the cut apple side. It's kind of sideways. It usually should be this way. And they got it sideways. I don't know if that's a printing error or if that's correct. Let me know if that is what it's supposed to be. And then, like I said, the Ringo one only had three singles. This one does have four. So we do get something and come together. So there's the front and the back. Again, like I said, you got a big hole in this. Hello. <laughs> there's something. And then come together is correct on the apple there the cut apple not sideways on it it's up and down like it should be so yeah i don't know if that's an error on that or if that's how they all were printed but i did find that kind of interesting and like the ringo one also you do get a poster interesting that the poster is exactly what the picture is that was on the inside of the box but we'll fold it out and look at it again a little bigger size very nice poster you can see the the lads there very cool so yeah like i said exactly the same as that of course we do got the little bonus there your little spider your record spacer there now this one's in there a little harder to get out than the ringo one was a little more centered but and let's take a look at it on one of the records now i've got it somewhat on something <laughs> there we go i thought i'd do it on one of the apple ones as soon as it was the apple and of course the back is just blank so the backside doesn't really get on there very well, but there we go. There it is on something. So yeah, that is what is in the box of this Record Store Day exclusive Beatles single set. And this one is going to be an older set, but it's still available. I did see on Amazon, they had it with some buying options and it was like $130 for that one buying option. It did say it was new, but I don't think I'd go for $130 for this. Um, eBay had it about $45. I did see one at uh, 60 and up there. 
I don't know, that's also the best area to get it. Discogs, as always, usually seems to be the most sane prices, and I saw that between 40 and up. I did see some as low as like 11 or 12 dollars those ones are i read the description it was just like a single disc out of here so be watching on that don't think you're getting like a great deal you're not getting the full box you're just getting like one of the disc but that's what i like about discogs is they usually let you know that stuff but be beware to read it don't just think oh 12 bucks i'm gonna grab it yeah, you're getting just a disc, not not the full set. Like I said, it, it is still available at Barnes & Noble on, online. I don't know if you're going to find any stores, but online you can still get it. It's about $45. I, I found it right now. It's $45 on sale. A little knocked off there, about $5. Normally it's about $50. I think I did get mine about $40, $45 when I bought it. I think they had a little sale going at the time too. Yeah, I'd probably stick with Barnes & Nobles for it. So I believe too, it, it, anything over $40 qualifies you for free shipping. There you go. You're getting it for $45. If it's $45, no shipping cost, anything like that. Yeah, if you're looking for it, I'd say Barnes & Noble is your best pick. Other than that though, I am going to get wrapping up. Let me know what you think about this set. Let me know if you've got it. Let me know if it does tie in with the Beatles 1. I couldn't really find anything for sure that that was part of the Beatles 1 reissue there with the new remastered, 2009 remastered sets that were on there and in the new Digi sleeve packaging and kind of as a promotion to tie in with that. With the, To me, it seems like it makes sense with the red and the yellow. Um, that's very Beatles 1. And then the fact that they got on the back of the the sheet on the back here, it does show the, the Beatles one album there. So I'm assuming it is tied in just based on that, but I might be wrong. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, let me know on that. And then before we do get wrapping up totally though, I do want to thank all my subscribers again, especially those new subscribers. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do and do hit the notification bell. Also, please give it a like. If you've stuck around to this point, you must like it. So please give it a like. It does help out the channel a lot and leave a comment. I do love having a discussion with everybody. Just let me know your thoughts on the questions I propose there. If you got the set and is it tied in with one and what's the deal with the record store day being listed on Discogs as the ones for Black Friday and the other was for the 2012 record store day. I don't know. But yeah, just let me know if you know the answer to that too. I, I'm pretty positive everything else I've seen. It only puts it as the Black Friday 2011 record store day. So I'm pretty positive that's right. But before I get rambling too much more, I am going to get signing out. I am Beetle Dustino signing out. <laughs> I think I got my sign out right there. All right, signing out. We'll see you. Bye. <laughs>